Mr. Damiano, thank you again so much for being here. I was very impressed when I toured Velcro USA with all of the energy efficiency changes you've made in the business. And I wonder if you could elaborate a little bit on what you said in your testimony about um, what those energy efficiency improvements have done to save jobs in New Hampshire. Uh, certainly. Um, <clears throat> I think probably the key thing is that it, it keeps us competitive in a global market. Um, we develop our products. Well, first off, we like being able to say that it's a U.S.-made product. It certainly helps us to sell to the military and the government through Barry Amendment. Uh, so it's critical for us to be here. But if we cannot compete with our, the majority of our competitors, frankly, are in the Far East. You don't see products like ours generally being made as, as often as, you, as we make it here in the, in the United States. Uh, and we are, the vast majority of what we make is made in New Hampshire. So again, I think that the cost we save to be able to keep employed and keep the business in New Hampshire is, is very much driven by uh, some of our energy uh, policies. And as I said, I think probably we just have to continue to, to do it. We have a continuous improvement program, and we see that having an impact. And probably the next big step would be for us to take the Summersworth facility and go with a, a similar, a similar off-the-grid solution. Um, uh, fortunately, I'm um, happy to report that over the last two years, uh, Velcro has been actually growing extremely well, and we are continuing to uh, employ uh, in, in New Hampshire, so it's working for us. Um, we, aren't, we don't ever intend to be the lowest cost supplier. It's just not our position. Our position is actually be the highest quality supplier, and uh, so we can afford to be a little bit more expensive, but it's a global economy and we have to be competitive. Thank you. Can I just ask one follow-up question, Mr. Chairman? Um, in terms of the retrofits that have been done in the building, can you speak to how much of that um, equipment and technology was done in the U.S. and the people who came in and did that work? Um, can you talk to um, where they were from and, and the well, kind of effort that put people to work doing that? Uh, good question. In fact, I may have to ask uh, someone to help me with that. I do know that particularly the, the cogen system, which was our largest investment, was entirely U.S.-based, was it not? Yeah. Yes, it was entirely U.S.-based in terms of where the equipment was produced, the people who installed it, and of course now it, the system's been in since 2000, so our ongoing maintenance of the system is also generating you know, local jobs. Thank you.